What's going on guys? Welcome back to another fixed episode of Home Built Workshop. Today we've got a quick and simple repair. We're going to replace this teeny little o-ring and fix a leaking fitting on a propane cylinder. This applies to gas grills, heaters, all kinds of things that can connect to a propane tank. So stick around. Now when it's cold in my shop, one of the things I have is this little propane heater that attaches to the top of a propane cylinder. It puts out a lot of heat really quick and it works well to bring the temperature up in a hurry. Recently, I smelled a lot of propane when this was running. Not like a fume or anything, but the actual propane smell. So I figured I needed to take a look at this thing before the problem gets a lot worse. It could get dangerous. So this repair is gonna be really quick and simple. I wanna share it with you guys because it is helpful for basically most fittings that connect to a propane cylinder that are going to have this o-ring i'm going to show you this o-ring here in just a second that's going to cover barbecue grills any sort of cooking attachments stoves heaters anything like that that has an o-ring that seals in the end of your cylinder let's take a close look at this one i'll show you what's happening and we'll change it so if we take a closer look hopefully you can see the end of this the o-ring is cracked and really badly deteriorated. That, I believe, is what's causing me the propane leak. Like I mentioned, this is gonna be really simple. We basically just need to take this one off, put on a new one, and we should be good to go. I'm gonna use a small pick to get under the O-ring and pry it out of the groove. Just don't stab yourself in the finger. Yeah, that thing's all cracked and split. Make sure there's no crud or anything in there. Make sure that groove is nice and clean. Now to get my replacement o-ring, I went to my local hardware store and tried to compare and get the right one. I looked online to try to figure out what the size was, but I couldn't really find anything. I'm sure it's there somewhere, but I ended up working with the clerk at the store. He was really helpful, and we ended up opening one of the propane fittings that they had, and he took the o-ring off of that. We took it over to the o-ring bin and compared it against all the ones that they had and what we found was that this is a 3 8 by 9 16 o-ring it's marked as a number 110 o-ring this thing looks to be identical in every way we measured it the best we could in the store i believe this one is going to work again number 110 3 8 by 9 16 o-ring and now we can just roll the new o-ring in place Let's work that into place, make sure it's seated fully. Really simple. Now we can connect it, make sure there's no leaks. After reattaching the heater to the propane tank, I'll just turn on the gas, and then with a spray bottle of soapy water, I'll spray the fitting down. We're gonna watch closely and see if there's any bubbles coming out of there. If there is, that will indicate a leak. We're hoping for none. After watching it for a minute or two, I see no leaks. We are good to go. There you have it guys, that quick, our propane leak is fixed. Now we're not wasting the propane or even having to breathe it and causing some sort of dangerous situation. We don't want that to happen. Again, this can apply for your barbecue grill. You don't wanna waste all your propane when you go to try to fire it up to cook some burgers or something like that. So take a look at that O-ring if you suspect you've got a leak or if you smell it. It's always a good idea to check your connections when you connect a propane tank. Spray a little bit of soapy water on there. Any of those bubbles will indicate some sort of a leak. You may need to recheck your connections or replace the O-ring just like this. Hope you guys found this video helpful. Give it a big old thumbs up if you did. Thanks a lot for watching guys. We'll see you next time. Stab myself in the hand. <laughs>